Hello friends. Today we are going to cover a clinically oriented the thickest nerve of human body. Can you guess what is that? Okay so we are going to study about sciatic nerve in details, let's start here. The sciatic nerve. The sciatic nerve, L4, L5, S1 to S3, is the largest nerve in the body, here you can see in this model. It is broad and flat at its origin, although peripherally it becomes rounded. The nerve emerges from the greater sciatic foramen. Distal to piriformis and under cover of gluteus maximus. Crosses the posterior surface of the ischium. Crosses obturator internus. With its gymli. Quadratus femoris. And descends on inductor magnus, here you can see in this model. Here it lies deep to the hamstrings and is crossed only by the long head of biceps. Note that gluteus medius has been removed to show the otherwise completely hidden gluteus minimus. The sciatic nerve terminates by dividing into the tibial and common peroneal nerves, here you can see in this model. Dot the level of this division is variable. Usually it is at the mid-thigh. But the two nerves may be separate even at their origins from the sacral plexus. Branches The trunk of the sciatic nerve supplies The hamstring muscles, biceps femoris Semimembranosus Semtendinosus And also the adductor magnus The latter being innervated also by the obturator nerve So you can say adductor magnus is a hybrid muscle like branchulus of upper limb all the muscle branches apart from the one to the short head of biceps arise on the medial side of the nerve. Its lateral border is therefore the side of relative safety. In its operative exposure, course and distribution, it leaves the pelvis through greater sciatic foramen, below the piriformis and passes in the gluteal region, between ischial tuberosity and greater trochanter, then to posterior compartment of thigh. Termination. In the middle of the back of the thigh it divides into two terminal branches. Tibial and common perineal, fibular branches of sciatic nerve. Cutaneous. To all leg and foot except. Area supplied by the saphenous nerve, branch of femoral nerve. Muscular. To hamstrings. Flexors of knee and extensors of the hip through tibial part, two, hamstring part of adductor magnus, long head of biceps femoris, semtendinosus, semimbranosus. Please remember here, the short head of biceps receives its branch from the lateral popliteal, common perineal, nerve, tibial nerve, course, descends through popliteal fossa to posterior compartment of leg accompanied with posterior tibial vessels. Passes deep to flexor retinaculum, through the tarsal tunnel, behind medial malleolus, to reach the sole of foot where it divides into two terminal branches, medial and lateral plantar nerves. Muscular branches. Muscles of posterior compartment of leg, plantar flexors of ankle, flexors of toes. Intrinsic muscles of sole. One inverter of foot tibialis posterior, common perineal, fibular, nerve, course, leaves the lateral angle of the popliteal fossa and turns around the lateral aspect of neck of fibula, dangerous position, then divides into, superficial perineal, or, musculocutaneous, which supply the lateral compartment of the leg, deep perineal, or anterior tibial which supply the anterior compartment of the leg muscular branches to muscles of anterior and lateral compartments of leg dorsiflexors of ankle extensors of toes everters of foot the sciatic nerve is most frequently injured by badly placed intramuscular injections in the gluteal region to avoid this Injections should be done into the gluteus maximus or medius, into the upper outer quadrant of buttock. 
most nerve lesions are incomplete, and in 90% of injuries, the common perineal nerve is the mostly affected. Why? The common perineal nerve fibers lie superficial in the sciatic nerve. Sciatic nerve injury. Motor effect. Marked wasting of the muscles below the knee. Weak flexion of the knee, sartorius and gracilis are intact. Weak extension of hip, gluteus maximus is intact. All the muscles below the knee are paralyzed, and the weight of the foot causes it to assume the plantar flexed position, or foot drop. Stamping gait. Sensory loss. Sensation is lost below the knee, except for a narrow area down the medial side of the lower part of the leg here you can see in blue color and along the medial border of the foot as far as the ball of the big toe, which is supplied by the saphenous nerve, femoral nerve. Effect of sciatic nerve injury. Sciatica. Sciatica describes the condition in which patients have pain along the sensory distribution of the sciatic nerve. Thus the pain is experienced in the posterior aspect of the thigh, the posterior and lateral sides of the leg, and the lateral part of the foot. Causes of sciatica Prolapse of an intervertebral disc, with pressure on one or roots of the lower lumbar and sacrospinal nerves. Pressure on the sacral plexus or sciatic nerve by an intrapelvic tumor. Inflammation of the sciatic nerve or its terminal branches. Common perineal nerve injury. The common perineal nerve is in an exposed position as it leaves the popliteal fossa. It twines around neck of the fibula to enter pernus lungus muscle. Dangerous position. The following clinical features are present. Motor. The muscles of the interior and lateral compartments of the leg are paralyzed. As a result, the opposing muscles. The plantar flexors of the ankle joint and the inverters of the subtalar joints, cause the foot to be plantar flexed, foot drop, and inverted, an attitude referred to as talipsequin ovaris. Common perineal nerve injury. Sensory. Sensation is lost between the first and second toes. Dorsum of the foot and toes. Medial side of the big toe. Lateral side of the leg. Tibial nerve injury. Because of its deep and protected position, the tibial nerve is rarely injured. Complete division results in the following clinical features. Motor. All the muscles in the back of the leg and the sole of the foot are paralyzed. The opposing muscles dorsiflex the foot at the ankle joint and avert the foot at the subtalar joint, an attitude referred to as talpus calcaneo valgus. Tibial nerve injury. Sensory loss. On the lateral side of the leg and foot and trophic ulcers in the sole, 